Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 11 while loops number 20 using an if statement in a loop. A common thing to do is to use variables to keep track of some sort of count. When used in a loop, we count things very quickly. Scenario, if you roll a pair of dice, rolling a 12, two sixes is rare. How rare? If you were to roll a pair of dice a thousand times, on average, how many times would it come up as a 12? To figure this out, we could write code to run an experiment. It would go something like this. Make a loop that simulates rolling a pair of dice a thousand times. Inside the loop, add an if statement, if die one plus die two equals 12, then add one to the counter. After the loop, display the results. I think this is going to be a pretty important part right here, especially this if statement at the end. I think we're gonna reference this in a minute. We have a do this. The starter code sets up the whole experiment for you, except it doesn't count the number of 12s rolled. That's your job. Run the code to see what the experiment does. Add an if statement inside the loop to check if the sum of the dice is equal to 12 and add one to the 12 count. Once the loop is completed, display the number of times the sum was 12. We have a note here. If you remove or comment out the console.log statement that displays every roll of the dice, the experiment will speed up a lot. You could do tens of thousands of rolls of dice in just a matter of seconds. Well, that all sounds very interesting to me. Let's take a minute here and go and look at our code. Right now, I have a variable die one and two set to negative one. Why is that? Well, so it can get inside the loop. We have a variable loop num, which is set to zero, and a variable 12 count, which is also set to zero. While the loop number is less than a thousand, you're going to add to loop num. Remember, plus plus is just loop plus one. Die one and two are both gonna be random between one and six, and then we get something spit out over there. We have a console.log statement that displays rolled a die one plus die two for a total of a sum. And then we have, when it's done, two console.log statements that will display. Hmm. Let's run it and see what happens. Looks like it's thinking down here in my debug console. Still thinking, still thinking. If we come up here and look at it, ooh, we should stop this for a second because it's still going. It rolled tons and tons and tons of numbers here. But really, we just want to know the sum of 12. Looked like it rolled a two, three times, maybe more if we look through it. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to add an if statement inside the loop. Where is that if statement going to go? Well, it has to be before this brace here because we want it displayed within this while loop. And what I'm gonna say is if die one plus die two equal 12, then we're going to go to our 12 count. And it'll be 12 count plus plus. That's it. We need to close this again with another brace. That takes care of our little red box there. Now, if die one plus die two equal 12, we're going to add to 12 count. What's 12 count? Well, that's a variable up here. And we can display 12 count when it's done over here. We're going to comment out real quick the rolls here like they said so they can go a little quicker. Adding these two backslashes here, just comment it out, and we can run it without displaying it. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what happens. Well, we're not displaying any of the roll day die one plus die two for a sum. All we're doing is the bottom here, which is the number of times it was rolled. The number of 12 was rolled 29 times. So out of a thousand rolls, only 29 of them ended up being two pairs of sixes. It could only be six plus six because those are the only two die numbers that add up to 12. Let's just take this comment out here, reset and run, 
And as you can see, it is thinking and bogging down. It is going to go through a thousand of these rolls here. So this is going to take quite a while. Looks like we froze up. Computers thinking as hard as I am here. Well, it looks like we broke our computer here. As you can see, if we do not come in and out, it takes forever and bogs us down because it's printing out each one of these statements a thousand times, and that's a lot. We just hit run. We just get the ending part outside the loop. And this time, 12 was rolled 26 times. As you can notice, it's pretty consistent in the high 20s, low 30s every time. Pretty interesting. Looking back up here, we ran the code to see what the experiment does, which just ran, bogged down our poor little computer. We added an if statement inside the loop to check the sum of the dice is equal to 12, and we added one to 12 count. Right there. Once the loop was completed, it displayed the number of times the sum was 12. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I know this was a really hard lesson, but you did a great job, and we're ready to move on to the next unit. I'll see you there. Good job, kids.